it has not been easy for me. And, you know, I, I started off in Brooklyn. My father gave me a small loan of a million dollars, of a million dollars. Do you want to start a successful business? But well, unfortunately, you don't have a small loan of a million dollars. Well, I also didn't have a small loan of a million dollars. But I have a successful business and I'm only 21 years old. Now, am I saying that to brag? Yes, but I'm also trying to show you that anybody can do it. Yes, even you, all right? You're not too young, you're not too old to start a successful business without the help of $1 million loan. I don't have a sugar mama. I wish I had a sugar mama. Are there any sugar mamas watching me to send me $1 million? Just a small loan of $1 million. All right, that's all I need, guys. Sugar mamas, anyone? Unfortunately for us, we don't have sugar parents, all right? We don't have sugar daddies and we don't have sugar mamas. So we just have to do it the hard way. Enough jokes though, this video is actually really serious. Unfortunately though, the focus of the video was trash. I, I thought the focus was on manual focus. I learned the odd way that it was not on manual focus. So it kept losing focus at some point. So apologies for that. I had to apologize earlier, but this video is fire. So I didn't want to retake it. So enjoy the slightly out of focus sometimes video with lots of information. How to start a business without capital and i'm gonna start with my story right so i'm an artist i make drawings for people let me plug myself up real quick all right so i started that business without capital this is how i did it right so firstly i drew a celebrity i drew natasha i don't know her full name <laughs> but i drew a celebrity it wasn't that good, like, to be honest, when I look back at that drawing, I cringe. Like, that drawing was so bad. That was my first drawing. You're never gonna be good at anything the first time you try it. So, progress is determined by your level of practice, right? So, I drew a celebrity, I posted it on my WhatsApp status, and then people were like, yo, this is nice, blah, 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 yo, this is good. I had really supportive people. Thank God for that, right? Because <laughs> the drawing is trash. Like, <laughs> To be honest, I look back at that drawing, I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? This is trash. This is absolute trash, right? So I'm grateful for people that supported me when my drawings were trash, right? And then I drew another person, people are like, and then someone was like, can you draw me? And I was like, cool, but you know, you gotta pay me. Like, I'm not gonna draw you for free. And then the person was like, cool. I started my business with literally 100 rands. So I only had 100 rands. <laughs> and that 100 rand, my first 100 rand, I gave it as a seed, right? I did my first fruit. I paid it to church, right? So I just kept on learning new things. And then another person was like, yo, can you also draw me? And I was like, cool. Secure the bag. The first clients I got, I did not spend those money for myself. I, I did not spend it on clothes. Like I didn't spend it to like get dripped up. Nah, I spent it to invest. I, I bought some pencils, some nice pencils, some paper, like some professional paper. I made my business professional. I, I gained the knowledge, I gained the equipment, and I made it professional. All glory to God, by the way. It is all God that does it for me. Make use of social media, guys. Social media is supposed to help you out. Don't use social media for negative stuff. Don't use social media to be comparing yourself with other people. Don't use social media to be jealous of other people. Like, use social media to advertise yourself. These days, I only use social media to advertise myself. I don't have time for small talks. I don't have time to be pillow talking. Like I'm about that paper, right? I only pillow talk like in the night. I don't use my day to be pillow talking on phone. Like, hey, how are you? How are you doing? How's your time? What you doing? You know, <laughs> remember when you'd be like, hey, person would be like, hey, W-U-D, wood. And then nothing much. How about you? And then you also be like, Nothing much. Use social media for your benefit. Use social media to advance your business. I'd advertising, bro. Advertising is key to any business. If you can get your business out there to as many people as possible, use your money, invest your money into advertising. I'd invest your money, go outside and show people your product. Nobody's gonna know what you sell if they don't know what you sell. So you gotta tell people like, yo, this is what I sell, this is what I do. Tell people, like advertise, use social media to advertise, like go crazy on social media with your business. Like post your business every single day. Get yourself a Facebook page, an Instagram page, LinkedIn, 
I need to get on LinkedIn. Like LinkedIn is actually really good. I need to jump on that shit, right? So what else? What other social media? Your WhatsApp status. Don't send people WhatsApp messages of your business. Though. That's that's annoying. Like <laughs> I don't I don't know if it's just me, but like when people just keep spamming me like messages like support me and I'm like cool and then the next day support me like come on I, I already got it like guys don't spam people's messages. I put it on your status. Your status is cool. People will see it. If people want to support, bro, they will support you. This YouTube stuff, imagine if I'm sending like my videos to everybody every single day. They're going to get tired of it. So don't send your stuff to people's messages. I right? send, put it on your status. I right? people are going to see your status. If they want to support, they will support you. I right? if they don't want to support you, sending them a message will not make them support you. I right? just put it on your status. People are going to get annoyed if you keep on sending them messages. Use social media for your advantage, all right? And grow your business. It's okay to start small. Excuses are valid. You have every excuse not to do what you have to do, right? Like you can say like, you know, I don't have the finances. I don't have the help, the support. But like, excuses are not going to get you anywhere. Get your lazy ass up and get to work. I believe in you. You can start your business with literally zero, all right? Advertise. That's the key. The key to starting your business with zero cent is to advertise. Advertise it and get your first client. Your first client is your capital. Your first few clients, that's your capital. So then you invest it into your business and then boom. I don't spend your first few money. Put your business in God's hands. Put it in the Lord's hands and God is going to multiply your business. And always know your excuses are valid but it doesn't do anything for you. Stop giving yourself the excuses and actually start working. I, the time you're using to complain, to give yourself excuse, start to figure out the way out of it. I, there's a solution to every problem. I gave myself the excuse of not, you know, starting this type of videos, these motivational videos. I was like, I don't have a camera. But then another part of me was like, use your phone. I know it's bad quality, but I like, just thought. I, starting is the first step to anything. So I was like, okay, let me start with my phone. So I live with my phone and eventually I got this camera. Like now I'm growing, bro. <laughs> so start and grow. Put it in God's hands and grow. The first income you get from your business is not yours. It is not yours. It is for your business.